What's up YouTube, I'm Jack, this is Jack Reacts, and today we got a very, very special video. Uh, today we got Mariah Carey, Vision of Love. I know I've been doing a lot of Mariah Carey lately. I'm gonna throw in some more R&B artists as well. I think I'm gonna do a TLC track tomorrow. But uh, today, again, we got Vision of Love, and this is a live performance uh, at SNL, I believe. And I think y'all were telling me that this was like her debut performance or something like that. So if that's the case, I'm very, very excited to get into it then. If y'all like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe turn on notifications if you haven't already uh and comment your requests down below i will get to them as soon as possible and if you'd like to further support me you can check out my patreon link in bio your support means the world i cannot express that enough but without further ado let's go to get in the video okay I like that with the hi-hat like that or the symbol I mean Oh, this doesn't even sound real. It's like every note is just perfect. I was about to pause it. I'm gonna let it ride out though. It almost sounds like gospel. Oh my God. Okay, let me pause it right here. I know she's like starting to pick up steam, but uh, I just feel like this is a good place to pause it. I wanted to pause it like much sooner, but I couldn't get myself to do it. She was just doing so good. And I'm telling you, I, I was saying it over the song. It's just like every note, and I mean every note she hit just sounded so perfect, so in tune. It almost didn't even sound real. Like that's how good it sounds. My expectations when it comes to live performances in general are just kind of down here, if you get what I'm saying. I'm not talking about her, I'm just talking about in general live performances because a lot of the live performances I heard in, you know, maybe the last five years or so are just not very good, not very good. So my expectations for a good live concert just means, you know, you're somewhat in tune, you're not lip singing, you're singing it. If you can do that, then to me, that's a good live performance. But this is something else. And it just makes me wonder, like during this time, this looks like it was maybe the, the 80s or early 90s. Uh, y'all let me know it just makes me wonder like were live performances on this level or is it just just her i really can't think of any artists today that are doing mainstream artists they are doing live performances like that that's why i'm so shocked and surprised you get what i'm saying because i'm just very desensitized 
to uh, shitty live performances. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And no disrespect to my artists out there. You know, I can't sing myself, so I'm not one to judge. But man, this is dope. And I love the, like I said, it kind of reminds me of a gospel track. Like the chords, the melodies, it reminds me of gospel with R&B elements added. I also want to give props to the background singers and the people playing the instruments. They're doing really good too. They're providing a very good backbone for her to do her thing. Her voice here is a little bit more deeper. Like she, it's like, it's coming from her chest. It's like coming from her diaphragm. Like like all it just it has her voice has a lot of power in this song like i can really feel it in my soul when she's singing that's how powerful her voice sounds on this track let's go to get back to it though i don't mean to talk too long this is something else though just as i was talking about her voice being deep hit the whistle notes Wow. Wow. That was flawless. Like, literally, there was not one mistake in there. That was like a perfect performance. You can see she's smiling too. She knows she killed it. She knows she killed it. Wow. I gotta clap it up for her. That's, that might be like the best live performance I ever heard. Like not from her, I just mean period. If that was her debut performance. Man, no wonder she's so big. If that's if that's the case, like, could you imagine being in the crowd when that actually happened? Uh, like, you know, you 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 used to whatever artist at the time doing their thing, you know, whatever yada yada yada, and then she comes on and does that. You'd be like, man, I get my money's worth. For real, that was something special. It looks like the 80s though. Y'all let me know, maybe like late 80s, could be early 90s. Again, I want to give props to everyone though, because uh, the people playing the instruments, especially that dude in the beginning playing the little cymbal, I thought that was a dope way to start off the track. I uh, love the background singers, because cause even though she was obviously the highlight, everyone's paying attention to her, you know, they provided a very strong foundation for her to kill it. And she did. And that little part where she went like acapella for maybe 10, 15 seconds was fire. I did not expect that. And she was going up and down, up and down right after she had done the whistle notes. Right after I had just said that her voice sounded deeper over the track. Just showing off, showing off. I love it. I love it. Definitely going to do a lot more uh, live performances from Araya on the channel. Y'all don't even got to worry. This is incredible. I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. That's how good this sounds. But yeah, that is all I got to say about this one, though. Thank you all so much for requesting this one. Uh, and on that note, if y'all like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and comment your requests down below. Again, I will get to them as soon as possible. And if you'd like to further support me, you can check out my Patreon link in bio. Your support means the world. I cannot express that enough. But y'all have a blessed day. Bless Last night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in, and peace.